Hey there everybody, Red X Parasite here, and welcome back to Let's Play Metroid Prime 2. In the last episode we made our way through parts of Sanctuary Fortress, and we got ourselves the Cobalt Translator, so now we can access more areas. Now, once you enter the temple for the second time, there are going to be some new enemies. You can't scan them unless you actually jump down to the ground level, so we're going to have to climb our way back up, but, you know... We have to get we have to get the scan. So Mechanobite. Wall walking mechanoid. Mechanoid uses magnetism to propel uh, projectiles at enemies vulnerable to simultaneous explosive blasts. Illuminoth created the Mechanobite to help patrol corridors and shafts of the sanctuary fortress. It uses magnetism to keep itself attached to the walls and ceilings. In combat it will fire projectiles towards its target with a magnetic accelerator. It can only be dislodged by simultaneous explosive blasts. Mechanobites self-destruct once they are heavily damaged. So, uh, you're going to want to use the Seeker missiles on these guys. Uh, just target each of their legs. Um, and that will get rid of them. Their projectiles that they shoot at you are pretty slow. So, um, they're pretty easy to hit. And that's uh, that's all there is to it. Now, if you uh, ignore these guys, you actually you actually can ignore them. Um, if not going for all the scans, then you can just kind of make your way out of the room quickly. Now, they actually like are pretty finicky with what they consider um, simultaneous blasts. Um. As you can see, I try. I had to try multiple times in order to actually uh, dislodge that last one. Other than that, there's not much, you know, more to fighting them. They're just kind of a nuisance, really. Um, the the shots do ten damage if they hit you, um, which you know, given how much health that we have already, you know, not really all that threatening to us. So, uh, the first place that we can go now that we have the Cobalt Translator is through this door. And on the other side of it is a giant chasm. You know, however, we are we going to get across this? Well, if you thought Morph Ball Cannon, you thought right. There will be another way that we can cross these, but... We won't have access to it for uh, a while. Oh, and before you leave, scan the uh, cannon on this side of the room as well. You know, if if you want to get back, which you know, hopefully we shouldn't, but it's useful uh, if you need it. Now we have a mini boss coming up, and you can actually see it right here. This is the Spider Guardian. Uh, spider ball powered darkling target uses spider ball power to cling to walls it seems to have a connection to the energy system in the area overexposure to energy may disrupt it now this is the only chance you're gonna get to um, get the scan so make sure that you scan it here because once you go into the morph ball tunnel right there you'll start fighting it and the entire fight happens in morph ball so you can't you know scan it while you're actually fighting it but a little more detail, the Darkling, uh, this Darkling Pillbug has absorbed the power of the Spider Ball. It can travel over magnetically charged surfaces at will. The creature seems to have a connection to the local energy system. Aggravating it may cause disruptions to the system. So, now that we've got that scan, we are going to start fighting it. This is actually a really creative fight. Um, I like the ideas behind this fight. It can be a little bit annoying. Um, once I, you know, get into explaining how it works, you can pro you'll probably be able to, uh, see how it works. So what you're going to want to do is, uh, stun it by laying Morph Ball Bombs in the path that it travels. Now, it's going to travel a, a set path, um, every time, so you can lead it, know where it's going to go, and, uh, do that. So once it is stunned, it'll change from blue to green. You know, as it as it did there, um, 
And what your goal is to try to do is to get uh, to a Morph Ball Bomb slot and activate it. Uh, and what that'll do is basically send the Spider Guardian into a frenzy. It will turn red. Um, and start trying to uh, just basically charge into anything in the path. Now, if you don't fully stun it like I did the first time, you'll have to lay more bombs. Um, like there. Now, the first the first few phases aren't too bad. Um, it is on a timer once you get it into the, uh, the stun state. So you'll need to... Uh, need to get to the bomb slot within a certain period of time, otherwise it'll go back to being blue. Uh, yeah, the first the first few ones aren't that bad, but uh, once we get to some of the latter ones, like this one gets a little bit more complicated. Um, the best goal is to kind of like drop down on it. Uh, otherwise, you can hit it like in the top right corner if you access it from the, uh, the boost. Or... That, wow, this was actually like super good. Um, I landed on that one corner, like you can see the block that's kind of right next to me over there, and I landed on that right after I got the stun, so that's probably about as fast as you can do the um, third phase. Um, the fourth one, however, is very different. Now, the trilogy version of this fight is a little bit easier because you have the jump ball, um, as well as they made a few changes to the arena itself. Gonna go back and get this health. You know, I'm not too desperate for it, but you know, it'll it'll help. Um, in the trilogy version, they made these platforms a little bit thicker. Um, now, the reason that you know makes a difference is in the uh, GameCube version, you could actually get hit by Spider Guardian when it's on a level below you. Um, so if I was on like the second level there and the Spider Guardian was below me on the first level. Um, it could hit me in the GameCube version, but uh, in the trilogy version, you can't you can't get hit. Um, so that that makes the fight you know substantially substantially easier. Uh, yeah, I always I hate this one so much, um, just because it's like in the middle of a ramp and it is so annoying uh, to get yourself right in the middle now uh, with this second phase here you have to hit the bomb slot that's on the you know kind of in the middle on the right side before you hit the one below it in order to get it to hit this one because you have to get the gates to close in the proper order um, otherwise, you know, you'll kind of be SOL. So, uh, there is not... Ah, crap. There's not a lot of time uh, for this last one, and I'm going to really screw this up because... Ah, this is my least favorite part of this fight. By far. Um... Oh my goodness, they really needed to like change how to see. I ran out of time. Um, and yeah, so if this was the GameCube version, you know, I'd probably be getting even more annoyed just because of the stupid, the stupid ramps here. That's really, that's really what makes this like so terrible. But I should have it now. Um, now, if you close it off in an area where it won't be able to get to the uh, electrical pillars that zap it and kill it, uh, it will just go back to the normal blue state. So, like, say if you trap it in the area that I'm currently in, it'll just go back to that that state. I suppose getting the um, the very last hit on the second try isn't bad. It's just it shouldn't be that hard <laughs> to do. But in any case, um, once we defeat it, of course, you know, we get the the spider ball back. Which is going to prove uh, quite useful to us. Be able to access a lot of the stuff here. Um, 
that we couldn't before. Now we yell a door, which we can't do anything about, so the only way out is back through uh, this area. Now once you come back here, there will be pill bugs kind of rolling around, but of course since you can't get out of Morph Ball here, uh, you can't scan them. So on your way out, uh, if you go up this Morph or the Spider Ball track here, um, there is a missile awaiting you right before the exit. So definitely get that on your way out. It will spit you out right here in the other side of Dynamo Works. Which, um, now that I have the spider ball, so you can go back up this track. And we already have that scan. And then, so now we get to see um, this side, you know, the light world side of this room. This is sensor probe. Um, you have a lot of boxes here. This is a great place to stock up on uh, ammo if you need it. Which I could actually use some missile ammo, so I think I'll just shoot them with uh, the power beam. And just scan the elevator to go actually go down. But once we do, we'll be back in the Hall of Combat Mastery. So, now we're back in here. You know, we're in a different different area. We've got a scan here, a Luminoth Lore scan. Uh, Luminoth Lore translated, Shattered Hope. None of the warriors sent to the Sky Temple returned. Our forces searched dark ether for them in vain. Of the energy transfer module, there was no sign. Though saddened, we set out to prepare another mission to build another module. To try once more to save our dying world. Okay, uh, now that we have the spider ball, we can actually scan the spider ball tracks and get the uh, the research entry for them. Magnetic rail system track and morph ball mode. Press the and move around to move along the track. Now, Prime 2 actually added something uh, new that you can do off of uh, spider ball tracks. Now, I'm not going to be able to really uh, demonstrate it immediately, but you can actually boost off of Morph Ball tracks, um, yeah. you can actually boost off of them. <sighs> Crap. Well, that was that was great. So we have we have a Morph Ball maze here. Uh, we're gonna get a missile expansion for our troubles. There we go. Ah, come on. I swear, like, trying to uh, use a jump ball is really frustrating at certain points. But you can boost off of uh, spider ball tracks in this game, which uh, they actually designed some of the new tracks around being able to do that, which is pretty cool. Okay, you're getting... Ah, freaking... Okay, what you're supposed to do is uh, jump up on this platform. Jump up onto this, you know, hang on to it for a while, drop onto the one on the left, and then uh, jump from there. You can actually just bypass all of that by um, doing a, a double bomb jump or, you know, the equivalent. Um, which, you know, is probably not all that difficult. I just didn't do it quickly enough, and then I got blocked by the platform coming over. So, picked up the uh, the missile expansion here, and I'm gonna trap the camera on a corner. Ah, I got free. Um, but we're back in here. We have more Harmony class drones, which are gonna make this. Um, I don't know how I got to get hit there. Um, make this room a little bit more dangerous to navigate, if only slightly. So uh, the res bits are back, so we're going to need to take them out again. So, got him. Very well, it, it's a robot. Yeah, okay, so you can, um, it's kind of hard to get around the shield. The shield will kind of pivot to, uh, to where you are. And that'll take care of all of them. Now that we have the spider ball, we can actually um, do do this. 
um, take this morph ball cannon and this is where uh, you actually get the intro to being able to boost off so just as simple as you, you know you hold a boost and then you let go and then you know, it'll propel you from the rail now is this the one yeah okay this is the one um, they give you these little red spots to show you where to boost um, and of course I messed that up but basically you can you can boost from anywhere the game's just kind of telling you here's where you should boost for this puzzle but as you can see that one particular um, one was energized part of the time oh and so was that one. Oh boy I am screwing this up epically I mean third third time is the charm right Although you know, do, doing doing this particular one is uh, is worth it, though. Um, there's a good good reward at the end of this one. And finally, there. I mean, actually, you know, hitting the uh, the track. And uh, one last boost, and we can get in here and get ourselves an energy tank. So that's the eighth one. Actually, ninth one. I can count. So, and now that we've gotten that, um, the only other piece of business that we have in Sanctuary for the moment is uh, picking up the map here. Um, we've been seeing a lot of yellow doors around, and we can't do anything about them. So we're going to need to backtrack in order to uh, get the thing that we need to open them. So you actually backtrack pretty quickly after uh, getting here for the first time. Yep, downloaded the map for this area. So, now that we have that, we are going to make our way out. Oh, just going to the boost ball to make this a little quicker. I believe... Oh, okay, we're not going to get stopped this time. It's the, the second time that we enter this room once we come back. Now, we've seen this before, and, you know, there's only one thing that this can mean, which is, you know, Dark Samus is going to show up. And apparently Dark Samus doesn't like bridges. Well, that's unfortunate. Looks like we can't cross the bridge normally anymore. But luckily for us, we just picked up something that we can use to uh, to move more efficiently. Let's see. It's... Oh, it's around here. Wait. I know there's... Yeah, there is a morph ball track around here. Oh, we can't do anything about it just yet. And I jumped off a cliff. Okay. Wait, was it? Oh, yeah, no, we can't. So I'm, I'm thinking of a lore entry that is in this room, but we can't access it yet. So... For the time being, uh, we should just take this spider ball track. And uh, this this is technically where the game gives you the tutorial for this. Um, I think it pops up with these messages like any time you go on this rail. Which is weird, but you know, whatever. Okay, let's just boost out because we're gonna have some turrets here they're gonna try to fire at us but they're too slow you know we're too fast okay actually you know what I just realized there's going to be a turret right here. So let's, uh... Let's get ready to actually destroy it. And there'll be another one right here. So we're back here in the temple grounds. Our, uh... Oh, how did that miss? Uh, 
I'm not sure, but it's not too important. Our uh, next destination is going to be Torvis Bog. Now, we can't actually make our way... So that, see, that's the way to Aegon. We can't actually make our way to there um, directly through the grounds just because uh, our path is being blocked by a number of things. So in order to get back, um, we're going to have to go through the Great Temple. That is where we are going to head. See, now that we have the space jump, we can just jump up here. It's the nice thing about, you know, actually having more upgrades. You can get around everywhere faster. But, um, I think we're in a good place to cut out this episode. It kind of felt like it went by really fast. <laughs> Just looked over at the timer. It's like, oh, it's already like at 20 minutes. So, I'm going to save here. But thank you very much for watching this episode of Let's Play Metroid Prime 2. I've been Red X Parasite, signing out. Yeah.